everybody. Today we're going to be doing a video using the text tool, but we're going to be using the circle text tool. Again, I have a 10 by 10 canvas at 250 pixels per inch, and we're going to be using our T on our toolbar. If you hold down on your keypad or your mouse, you're going to get a drop down menu. Go down to the circle text tool, click it, and go ahead and click anywhere on your canvas. It will automatically bring up a circle here for you. I'm just going to use the word Friday since it's Friday when I'm doing this. And the nice thing about this is you can still double click, highlight your text, and change to any family of font that you desire. For today's purpose, we'll get a more cursive font. Let's find one here. There we go. Let's go with that one. Now, if I ever need to move my font around, I can do Command Shortcut V on my keypad, or I can go up to the arrow, click it, and then I can move this around my page. Let me zoom in just slightly. Okay. Now, there's a couple features. You'll see here you have a circle. Sometimes it's a block. Another one here, and a little black circle. If I click the black circle, it will flip my text inside of this circle which is really great for moving your font around and down. And I used this little function here to move that font around my shape. The other option over here, if you click and drag in or out, it will create a more curvilinear or less curvilinear shape for your font. Now, I like my font here, but I want to make it larger. Double click, highlight, change the size. Here we go. Notice right here I have a very congested spacing. Remember your kerning separates your letters. It's a little bit better. When I'm done with this, I'm going to go ahead and flip it on the outside of the circle again. Remember it's this one over here. Make sure you have your move tool selected. And now you have it on the outside of the circle. Let's curve it around. Here we go. So we've got some nice things going on here. Now, I want to add a drop shadow. The way I add a drop shadow is make sure that you are selected so your circle is shown. Go over to any one of your vector tools, click on them, and your palette menu changes over here. Make sure you have the circle selected with the shadow underneath. Select Shadow. And there you have a very subtle drop shadow. It's a little too blurry, so I'm just going to drop this to the left. And there you have it. Be very nice for menus or uh, maybe wedding invitations or something fancy that you're doing. This is how you're going to use the circle text tool. And before I go, I'm just going to click on my move tool, click off of my design, and you can see here's what you're left with. Okay. Thank you so much. Practice with this. Practice colors. Practice using your, your uh, shadows. And also practice using these three tools that we just went over. All right. See you later.